Morning. I'll let Steven sit down. I love sitting down. Sitting down is my favorite thing to do second to standing up. Stand up. Let's see. I love standing up. Good. Now sit down. I love sitting down. You got to do your two favorite things. I got I'm to do so my two favorite things. Those are my two favorite things. Hi. Ten seconds before we went live, I remembered to the camera was zoomed out. To zoom the camera in. Mm. Took care of it. God, my. <laughs> cold it is cold. cold i'm really happy to just hold i i'm not incentivized to drink this i just want to hold this <laughs> he says okay hear me out sitting down is great but have you tried laying down <laughs> hmm. available today from your local apothecary tiny eddies formaldehyde flavor foam i hate that is this still <laughs> a thomas one i hope it i is. mean <laughs> no one can ever really know for sure but it has alliteration, mm -hmm. so it seems like it could be likely. Thousand Bits from Kirdalia says, Last night I finished Super Mario Bros. Wonder. What will Tiny Eddie cook up for me to celebrate? Ah, uh, nothing says I'm done with <laughs> with this game. Like, being done with everything and drinking formaldehyde flavor foam. When I think of Tiny Eddie, the word apothecary doesn't really pop into my mind. But it works. It does in a bad way. Yeah. I, uh, I hope that you enjoyed uh, Mario Brothers Wonder. Everyone I've talked to has immensely. Yeah. And I am looking forward to playing it Someday. Someday. We already know we're going to play with Alex and Haley. It's just yeah. a matter of, like, when... I don't know, man. There's just a lot of video games happening. Nine out of ten jack-o'-lanterns agree that Tiny Eddie's candle crunchies are the perfect way to celebrate an engagement. Candle crunchies! What's that tenth jack-o'-lantern think? I need to know. Tenth jack o' lantern is the one they didn't gag. So it's like, what? Don't eat a candle! Those bits from Brand of the Bicon says, Well, looks like my body decided I should be awake all night. Oof. Eddie, what should uh, I eat for my extra early breakfast? Just candles. Just candles. Whether or not they're, they're lit is up to you. Um, no, don't light them. I mean, people eat fire. There's an entire industry around it. You know they're just, like, extinguishing it in their mouth, right? I know. But I'm just saying, okay. there's, a, you know, saying that you can't eat fire is, like... <laughs> this has been a good... Str in five minutes, we've been like, formaldehyde? Fire? This is... <laughs> Hi. You're cold, too, I know. Let's snuggle. Our lawyers are advising us to remind everyone that you actually shouldn't consume formaldehyde or fire. Good boy. Please don't. <laughs> hope. I hope you get some sleep, Brandon. Uh, we got 46 months from Chill Days 11 from Brandon the Bicon. 47 from Gonzo Tinkerman. Game Girl Life 2108 gifted sub to Stachastic. Appreciate that. Uh, three to bits from Dishnet says, Good morning. Hopefully I can get some good vibes for my flight this morning. Looking forward to it, but I always feel a bit anxious before flying. Good vibes. Good vibes. You know, they say that flying is safer than... Um, Driving? Yeah. Well, actually, it's safer than, like, a lot of activities. <laughs> <laughs> Not a well-timed <laughs> alert a for well -timed that, that well. statement. <laughs> You know, they say driving is safer than than driver. Flying is safer than driver. Wow. Yeah. Your face is all wet. He drinks. He's a thirsty man. He is a thirsty man. It's, he spends all of his time consuming liquid. Anyway, good vibes for the flight. And uh, I know you have an event coming up this weekend, so I hope the event goes well. Yeah. Very, very well. we got three months from Brandon the Sun Dragon. So many Brandons here. <laughs> there are a lot of Brandons. 
49 months from Fry's Pikachu, three from the blue-haired cyborg. Three and a bit from Sassy, it says, who's ready for good news? The neuromalarkey is sorted. I'll be seeing them next year. Plus, I saw a fox last night outside my gate. First one I've seen in the wild. Clown. Well, first off, good. Yeah. We like good news. Second off, foxes are cute. Foxes are cute. I've seen them before, but it is not a common thing. It's not a common thing. We saw one in Japan. Coffee. We did? Uh-huh. At the onsen? In the morning? On the bird feeder? Mmm. We did. That's on the vlog. I forgot. It took me a minute. Yeah, there's, uh... You know. There's vlogs where we, like, go to... Places. We go to, like, Japan. Yeah. They're neat. Watch them. The reason I say that is because sometimes vlogs where I'm just like, this new Pokemon game has Pikachu in it, do better than like the ones where we go to like a destination. And I'm like, I just feel like people don't always have their priorities straight. Like, <laughs> don't you want to see the statue of Goku? They worship Goku in Japan. It's a god. We got three into bits of token it says, I just like clowns. Same. Same. You know, we could have watched on Halloween. We could have watched uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. We could have. And instead, we watched Halloween. Halloween. Mm -hmm. It was a brave choice to include Pikachu, but they did it. We we love we love to see courage in the video game industry. We get three into bits from Rogue Gamer M, who just says hello. Hi. Hello. Hope you're having a good morning. 11 months from Ellie Grace, 4 months from uh, Just Light Dark, and 100 bits from Ebar. Appreciate it. They're so good you might eat the box too. Tiny Eddie's hella good snack number 8. <laughs> it gives me like Love Potion number 9 vibes. Hella good snack number 8. People loved snack number seven. So we decided to make an eighth one. It's a thousand bits for Miss uh, Miss Mace Windu says, Today's my birthday. Happy birthday. Eddie, what snack do you have that I can put my candle on? Ah. Hella good snack. Hella good snack number eight. I wish that there... Are there... There's got to be a food out there somewhere that's just like snack number eight. Snack number nine, where they just, there, there's no indication. It's just like a numbered thing. Someone has done that. And you just have to try it. Then you can tell people like, hey, snack three is cinnamon. It's great. I'm convinced this is real. Happy birthday. Hope you have a good birthday. Uh, oh, okay. Rogue Gamer M says, phone glitched, but hi, Stephen Amal. Still watching previous VODs of Tears of the Kingdom, and today is the day I begin male-to-female hormone therapy. The first two years of pills doesn't count. Well, congrats. 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 I know that that's a road ahead, but... Yeah. Congrats all the same, and I'm glad that you're enjoying the Tears of the Kingdom's VODs. Actually, that reminds me... I try to pay attention to making sure that the VOD channel has the stuff come out. It's easier with Starfield, because with Starfield, I just release it as soon as I can. Yeah. But with Tears of the Kingdom and Pikmin, I'm trying to release it once those episodes are out on YouTube, and that's hard to remember. <laughs> so, if at any point, like, all of the episodes of a stream are out, and, and someone's, like, watching the, the VODs on on YouTube and they're like, man, the next VOD isn't out. Like, if you're aware of that, let me know. I'm like trying to keep up with it. But it can be hard. It can, it, it can be a little, a little difficult. Just a little bit. Uh, we also had uh, Rachel Girl 6 gifting a sub to Brioni Joy 383 and 25 months from Hanso and Mama. Thanks. My body's not cold. I have this cold. cat. 
<laughs> what is your preferred method of letting you know? So the best thing, the best thing is probably like, if folks are in our Discord, to just like tag me in the Discord and be like, hey. And then second best is tagging me on on uh, Twitter, being like, hey. Ooh. Ooh. Put some blue-haired Zygord says, ooh to you all. Life's hard right now, so good vibes to you all and practice your self-care. I can get behind that. Cheers to self-care in whatever way you practice that. Yeah. Sometimes it's holding Kepler. It's a form of self-care. Do you need to hold Kepler? No. I've, I held him for quite a while this morning. Hi, buddy. Now he can keep you warm. Oh, I love that. Do you know what temperature it was last night, Stephen? Um, was it cold? Cold, cold, cold time? It's 36 outside right now. Okay. I think it got to 30. Yeah, I mean, that, that I would believe that. Sure, absolutely. Just in general, it's been getting cold. Um, you know, we're, we're... We're into fall now, after what I would call a very extended summer. And we may kind of... Uh, may, yes, it is the cold now. Well, I'm just saying, we might kind of skip on past fall. Like, fall may not be around more long. We might just go straight into winter. It's supposed to be, like, 77 in a few days. Never mind. <laughs> I know Carly got, like, I don't know, six inches of snow or something on Halloween. It was wild when, uh... Oh, did I not change the cups? Oh, son of a gun. Chaz was like, now one thing, don't forget, change the cups. Yeah, these cups are lies, because, hold on, I can change that with, like, a very easy click. Done. <laughs> I fixed it! Wonderful. Yeah, those totals are for coffee and tea, not pumpkin and skeleton, which is over, because now, now it's, uh, November. Anyway, what I was saying is, uh, when Lindsay was here... Mm -hmm. She was enjoying the temperature a yes. lot, mm -hmm. and she, before she left, she was like, I really hope it hasn't snowed when I get home, and then she got home. <laughs> she posted a picture of her car, and there's snow on it. And there's it. snow on it, and I was like, man, the weather really do be different elsewhere. People are dealing with snow, and I'm like, and it was, there was a day during, ex like, during the Extra Life weekend that people were here, where it was 83, <laughs> and I'm like, man... My uncle posted a photo of his yard, and it looks like a Christmas card. Like that really heavy snow on the pines. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, pass. my dad is peace outing of Wisconsin real soon to go to Florida for the winter. They cannot wait. Yeah, I'm not a big... I'm not a big snowman. Mm -hmm. I'm actually human. I'm a boy, and my name is Anakin. But it's, you're big, though. I am, okay, I am big. I'm big, but I'm not a big snowman. I'm just a big man. No snow involved. <laughs> Haley says, my parents loved the cold and said they only wanted to come here when it wasn't hot. In fairness, when it's hot, it's hot. When it's hot, it's hot. When it's not, it's not. Going to do that. Sorry. There's a little Jerry Lee Lewis in all of us. Um, is that Jerry Lee Lewis? Yeah, it can get it can get like stupid hot here, like really stupid hot, and it, it actually gets hotter here than Myrtle Beach, and that's because we don't have the ocean. The ocean. It gets really warm. Jerry Reed. Ah, I knew it was a Jerry. <laughs> I I had Jerry on the mind. We had 16 months from Hugh 1290 and 44 months from Toon Linky. Thanks. I have, I'm drinking my coffee because I want to, but it, I'm, it's... It's going to go. What You have the cat now, though. I know, but my hands are cold. How do I excise the jerry out of me? It takes a long time. Careful. You have a blanket to your right. That's not a blanket. It is, though. It's not it's for blanket. It's not blanket. for blanketing. 
That's not the purpose. The purpose is to to drape over the couch for for um, green screen mm -hmm. for chroma key. That's the that's the purpose. We do have house heat. It just hasn't warmed up enough. Yeah, I had I I I, I set it to heat last night before bed, so like the house didn't get too cold. Yes. Like it, it. If it was, we would be under blankets. <laughs> yes, I set it to heat sixty six, so it wouldn't fall below sixty six. I was like, 66, that's okay. We can do 66. But when I wake up in the mornings and it's like 57, I'm like, bad. It's very, very bad. Speaking of chroma key. Yeah. I'll be using chroma key today uh -huh. when I do a stream at 1 p.m. Eastern. I need to let folks know about that because I'm going to... I. I I'll forget. I'll remind you again at the end of the stream. But I am doing a, uh, a stream today. I'm doing, I guess it's essentially a first 20 stream. We're, we're taking a look at a game. Uh, we're doing, it, it's, it's an extended stream. I'm actually doing a sponsored stream, which I have not, I haven't done a sponsored piece of content in forever. But I finally, I finally found one that I jived with in a big way. Because I get offers for them every week. And I'm like, I do not jive with this. And I finally found something I jived with. So, um, I'm playing a game today. I'm playing a game. Are you going to talk about it? More than just a game? I'm playing this one. A new ambulance racer by Platinum Games set in Nice Brinstar. Nice Brinstar. <laughs> in fairness, you do need to say nice Brinstar. Nice Brinstar. Because like Brinstar on its own is not it doesn't it's not like a very habitable place. No, there's a, it's there's not. a lot of bad things going on in Brin if you say nice Brinstar, then I'm like, oh they fixed that lava problem. Thousand uh -huh. <laughs> bits from Branded Bicon says manifesting this game for a surprise holiday release. An ambulance racer by Platinum Games set in nice Brinstar. Like maybe they still have a little lava if it's an ambulance racer. I was, you know what, you know what's wild is I just Googled the other day, ambulance driver game. Why? I don't remember. I th I, I'm not sure what the context of it was, but I know that the first time I Googled, I didn't put game. So I just Googled ambulance driver and all of the results had nothing to do with video games. And I was like, ah. Weird. <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> Google Google hasn't had the neural thing yet where they just know what you're searching for. The Stretchers is one. When I was a kid, there was a game that I bought. You know how you would go to the Walmart and they would have like physical PC games? Yeah. I went to the Walmart and I, I bought a physical PC game as a child. And I think it was just called Ambulance Driver. I don't know if it's on Steam or anything these days. It might be, but it was. This was a long time ago. I just bought this game called like Ambulance Driver, and I, my computer at the time was like a piece of garbage, and it would it would not work, like it would not run. Or if it ran, it ran at like one FPS or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I've never actually played this game, and I bet I shouldn't because it's probably bad. Probably. It's probably. probably not good at all. It's probably not a good one. It's probably not a good one. But you could play the stretchers. Mal and I played the stretchers a few years back, and that was fun. I enjoyed that. Anyway, Brandon, thank you. We got three hundred some M Tappet that says, with Haley's parents coming today, I think, I do wonder, have your parents come to Raleigh yet, Stephen? Um No. <laughs> they they were here whenever we first First, like, we're moving, we're moving mm -hmm. to North Carolina. We showed them the house mm -hmm. that we were moving into. Not this one, but the last one. And they got to see that, but they have not been um, to Raleigh since. We've been back to Myrtle Beach a few times, but they have not been to Raleigh. I hope at some point they will. But in the meantime, um, we'll be back there for Thanksgiving, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, which is not, that's this month. Mm-hmm, correct. That's like, this is the month where that happens. In three, week, three weeks away. 
three weeks away. It's Turkey Month. It's also the month where the vlog gets older. Yeah, the vlog's birthday. Vlog's birthday. That's exciting. Anyway. It also means pie month. Oh, Mao. I don't, you're not making pie. But not today. But in addition to uh, me doing a stream at 1 p.m., I never talked about the game. I'll talk about it in a minute. <laughs> in addition to me doing a game, Mao is streaming tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. Yes. You are cooking. I am cooking. I am helping. Yes. Whoa, that took too long. Sorry. Do you not want me to help? I don't know. Maybe. Taste tester. He is. I'm the always taste a taste tester. tester, and you need a camera person. Yeah. But I, sometimes I'll put the camera down on sticks and then come over and be like, "What's the deal with mayonnaise or whatever?" There's I do. no mayo in this recipe. Oh God, I'm out of jokes. <laughs> that was the one I, I had that one prepared. I actually have to make this earlier today. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, because it takes so it long takes to cook. It takes a bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you want to tell them what what you're making? I'm making beef stew today. Ooh. And what do they need? Or is it a lot? I don't know. It's like beef. Uh huh. Onions. Uh huh. Carrots. Carrots. I have mushrooms, but those are optional. Um. They're great. Um. What else is in this? It's beef getting broth. Beef broth. It's getting cool outside, and this yeah. is like getting the, to be the temperature of. Yeah. Potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. There's That's red, the other red, break one. Red mm -hmm. potatoes are in it. Um. I stop over after I pick up my friends. I don't know how much stew we're making. Yeah. Um, carrots, potatoes, sigh, onions. I don't know that I'm allergic to onions. There was some evidence that kind of suggested that. Oh, that's an MST3K deep cut. It's so super deep, huh? I'm not getting it from my memory chest. Um, yeah, there, there was a little evidence to suggest that. But then that evidence went, like, out the window, so I'm still, like, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so that's tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I always look forward to you streaming and you doing cooking and, and doing stuff that you enjoy. I really just love eating food. I know you do. And your food is delicious. You always Thank do you. an extremely good job of cooking. And this is a new recipe. I this normally is a... do it in the slow cooker, but we're using the Instant Pot. Oh. Oh. Well, that's fun. So, we'll see. I hope it turns out. It pro probably will. Yeah. It probably will. You always do a good job cooking, so it's probably good. It'll probably be fine. <laughs> I'm just, I'm in the mood for beef stew. Like, I know. When you told me yesterday that's what you wanted roast, to do. I was going to do pot roast, but I... That I always do in the slow cooker or in the oven. Yeah. And that takes a long time. I'm 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 very so. very down for it. Mm -hmm. Very down for And the it. grocery store, like they always have like, you know, baguettes, but they had sourdough baguettes yesterday. Wild. I know, I'm excited. That seems like it'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's tonight. I get beef stew for dinner. I'm super, super excited. Um, sorry, I just love reading this username. We had 11 months from Oh, ooh, ooh Ow, ooh, my dude. Thanks. Uh, the game that we're playing at 1 p.m. Eastern. You. That well, me. Yes. You. I am playing it. You. You will not be there. I have I an appointment. Be, I'll be playing at 1 p.m. Eastern. Is um. Uh, it's it's French. Mm -hmm. The title is French. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's it's je sens. Je sens. Je sens. But you you could pronounce it like different ways, because mm -hmm. cause like there's a develop there's a developer video where they're like the name of the game is je sens. They're like, but in English you could just call it like je sens. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I thought the game say was just French. It's by uh, it's by Don't Nod. The Don't Nod are the devs behind Life is Strange. 
Mm. So ah. Life is Strange won like a ton of awards. It's a good studio. And um, they reached out about doing a stream for Jusant. And I was like, okay. Yeah. I'll do that. So I'll be playing that today. And we'll take the beginning of it and release that as a first one. So it looks good. It's a climbing simulator. Like. Rock climbing? Yes. Okay. Yes. It's uh, kind of like whimsical. Just from what I've seen of it, it gives me vibes similar to like the climbing portions of Uncharted 2. Except like you can also like like put the, the, the pitons in the wall yeah. and stuff like that. That was the word I was looking for. And like a mix of that and like journey, mm. like the whimsical nature of that. So I'm looking forward to trying it out. It looks like a genuinely like interesting game. So anyway, um, yeah, that, that should be good. And they reached out to me personally about this because they had seen other games that I've played that was like in the same wavelength. Yeah. So I was, I was, I was excited. So about it was that. a personal email, not like a. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. CC to a bunch of people. Yeah. So it was nice. It was it was nice because like, honest to God, and I'm not going to call any particular studios or any particular games here, but I get asked multiple times a week and have for years to do sponsored streams. Just they, I get the emails all the time, but like. Yeah, I'm not gonna name any games, but like, there's just not something I want to do. It's just not something I want to do. So it's really, really exciting to finally get someone that's like, oh my god, yes, I will, I would, I would cover that. Y'all just love bug spray. I think they're talking about yeah. trying to kill cockroaches. Well, especially when you get a personal email that's like, hey, based on X, Y, and Z that you do, we think you would really like our game. Yeah. Yeah. That is nice. Yeah. Uh, we had 300 bits from Pastry Bear Plays who says, just wanted to say I appreciate this community so much. Uh, S'more is awaiting a ultrasound at 930 and I'm hoping for good results. You are all very much appreciated. Good vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes. I hope everything goes well. One of the, one of the hardest things is not knowing things. Yeah. So, because you can't make any plans. Because you can't make mm -hmm. any plans on anything, and sometimes, like the no like gaining knowledge, the idea of gaining knowledge can be scary, but it's so much worse to not know, in yeah. my opinion. I mean, I guess that's a subjective thing, but I just I want to know things. So, good vibes, and uh, I hope that you know something soon. Hope you know something soon. Um. Anyway, so that's. That's the stuff we've got going on today. Uh -huh. And I know folks were asking me, I did Starfield on Wednesday, they are asking if P Pikmin was going to be next week, and I said, yeah. We yeah, will we be will doing, do Pikmin next week. We will be doing Pikmin. Um, every time I talk about Pikmin, and I'm like, there's not much left. People laugh at me, and they're uh -huh. like, you don't know anything. But I'm like, it, there probably is yeah. not that much left. I have no idea. We're faster than one-player playthroughs. We have, a, we have a gun. People keep forgetting about the gun, mm -hmm. which is really yeah. wild because it's a gun. It is a gun. It does make things go faster. It makes things go more quickly. We also just learned that if you shoot your own Pikmin, they move faster. They do. You're just like, dance! <laughs> so, yeah, I, uh, I, I think that we're probably... <laughs> Sorry, that got me good. That, that got you <laughs> real good. You're Sam and the Sam. You like that? Yep. Yep. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. You just like the little Pikmin. <laughs> it's the reimagined Mad Dog McCree. Mad Dog That was McCree. one of my favorite Extra Life games. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed Extra Life. Mad Dog McCree was a highlight. What the highlight was was four, four grown men <laughs> pointing their guns all in the exact same place. The reticules are just overlaid on each other because we know where the guy's gonna be. 
And then that poor man coming out from behind the barrel being like, Hey, what's going on? <laughs> like, four, four revolvers all bang, 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 bang. It's almost harder with four players, too. Mm -hmm. It's like the one part where like the multiple guys came out and you had to kill them all, but then they're like the one banker comes out. We kept screwing it up and then Dan was like, ah, I got him this time. <laughs> and then the next time Thomas was like, crap, I killed him. Uh, anyway, look forward to that. No trick or treater will be disappointed when you give them Tiny Eddie's $1 bill. <laughs> I got change for some years. Like I'd dump out my bag of candy what? We'd get home and we'd sort it into like the candy that you wanted to keep or like the red hots that I couldn't eat. There'd be coins sometimes. I have never, to my recollection, received money for <laughs> Halloween. Like that would have been great. I guess, but I, I've never, I don't think I've ever had that happen. It's, it does sound like he's practicing counterfeiting. <laughs> All right, I say, I, it was starting to get cold. I'd saved so much coffee. Oh, that's a good question, Brandon. Is Tiny Eddie's $1 bill just a novelty bill with Eddie's face? Yeah, I wonder, so I wonder if this can be used as like, like a- Legal tender? Well, I was gonna say a coupon towards a Tiny Eddie product. Mm. Like a, like, a, you know how they have like manufacturer's coupons? And yes. they're like, they're, they're crazy and have seals on them. Not, not the animal. Yes. Okay, yeah, just making yeah. sure that you were on the same page. It was 1,201 bits from Brandon the Bicon says, since I can catch this live for once, I want to shout out Breakfast Stream for being my go-to podcast at work. Vod Squad represent. I've been around for like 10 years, can say this community is sweet as sugar. Love you guys and all the peeps hearing this right now. Thank you. I sincerely appreciate that. Also, shout out to everyone who is using Breakfast Stream as a podcast. I know that you, you're you out there and you currently can't say anything because you're driving to work. Um, <laughs> but, but everyone who's listening to this while driving to work, I want you to know... I'm aware of your existence. <laughs> Two of our mods. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, me currently. Yeah, it's a lot of folks use this as a as a podcast, and I, I think it's very nice for them because if you have a uh, like a normal hours job, um, and you're waking up in the morning, I think get trying to get going in the morning. Yeah. Like, it, especially at work, like if you have to go to a place and like like that's kind of sucks. Like it's you have to like wake up. Like at 9 a.m., you're still just kind of like eh, yeah. waking up. Yeah. So if you have a something to look forward to at least like twice a week, like that's, See, I, I always, get it. I always listen to NPR and I would time it right because there was like a tiny little local segment they'd do yeah. about gardening. And so I'd try and time it so I could always hear that little gardening segment every time. So you learned a lot about gardening. Mm -hmm. That's neat. I like that. Like when I when I was when I was growing up, my podcast of choice was the John Boy and Billy Big Show. Uh, that's what <laughs> I just listened to that on FM radio with my dad because um, podcasts hadn't been invented yet. But it's just, it's essentially the same thing. Radio is just basically live podcasts, more or yeah. less. This is a live podcast. It's the same thing. Anyway. Tiny Eddie counterfeits money. He's an apothecary who counterfeits money. An apothec counterfeiter. 46 months from Howie Sona. We got 100 bits from Casper Stone Nature. And Ginger Lord gifted a sub to Trent to Luigi. Appreciate it. Thomas says, did you listen to John Boy and Billy on 102.1? .1? I don't I don't know what the station was now. That that has definitely been lost to time but uh we we listen to them all the time john boy and billy and robert d rayford may he rest in peace uh they had they had their own sauce i think a lot of radio personalities have their own sauce maybe down here 
not in Wisconsin. People, people have a lot of sauces. <laughs> There's a name. I don't remember what it's called now. I don't remember the name of the sauce, but they had sauce. And uh... <laughs> how could you forget John Boy and Billy on 1021 Classic Rock The Fox? No, I don't remember. Yeah, they had a so they had like a like a barbecue sauce or something. We bought it a few times and made food with it. It was good. It's probably still around. I don't know. If I if I had a sauce, it would absolutely be mustard, mustard. based. Absolutely, mm -hmm. I, I, I that would be fun. That would be very fun to like make a sauce, but it does feel like getting into like food is like a barrier that's not worth crossing. You know what I mean? There's so much like difficulties in getting into making like a food product. Yeah. I just remember that girl on like TikTok that the was like, pink stuff. Was like, I'm making pink sauce. It has dairy in it. I am shipping it. And I'm like, oof. oof. I mean, that was like a special kind of stupid of like, you can't do that. But even like getting into the food industry in any capacity, like that's, that's hard. But I would love to make a, I don't know anything about making mustards. I guess it requires mustard seed. It does. Well, that I got ingredient got one it. ready. We got ground mustard downstairs. I love mustard so much. You could go lick it. You know what though? You know what? I think that I know the, the type of direction I would go in for the mustard. Okay. Because I've, I have, we have tons of mustards in the fridge. Mm -hmm. I love mustard. And I like horseradish mustard, like like deli, tr yeah. traditionally yeah. deli mustard. I like that a lot. But recently, I was reminded of a different type of mustard where we went the other day, the, the tap station where they have like mustard, well, they have mustard for like pretzels, but then they also have it on the sandwiches. That mustard is has a, a very particular type of kick. Mm. Very particular. I don't remember. It's like, it's not the same as like a horseradish. It, I don't know, it's different. And that's the direction I would go in. <laughs> I like how <laughs> Brandon wrote Alex, our mustard master. <sighs> canonically. Yeah. Canonically, Alex is the mustard fan but only in the canon yeah not in reality I'll fight I'll fight to the death he even showers with much that's why that's why it's canon folks don't know I give a quick explanation for this um, there was at some point we were I think it was a Saturday game night yeah I think we were playing a jackbox it was a, I think we were playing jackbox and uh it was one of those games where, like, you have to lie about... about yourself? Yeah, you yeah. had to, like, tell a truth and a lie or something, and, and one of Alex's was, like, mustard is my favorite food or whatever. I eat it with every. I eat it with everything. And Chaz was <laughs> like, yeah? Do you... Really? Everything? So then Chaz kept pushing, like, every... Like, for the rest of that night, and then also continued into the future... You know, if, if Alex was like, oh, I'm eating this, Chaz would be like, well, why don't you go get Where's some mustard? Because you're the biggest fan of mustard in the world. And that just kind of grew and grew. And then there was one night where, since Alex continued to just roll with this and be like, I am the biggest mustard fan, that Haley had replaced his shampoo with mustard. So he got into the bath and... <laughs> went to shampoo his hair. Haley says blueberry pancakes with mustard. I made mustard ice cream. And uh, it we was, all it was it was mustard. collectively decided in that moment, without discussing it, that we would really push Alex on this point. Yeah. So that it's funny. Oh, Chaz says he made me lose points in the game by saying I like mustard on everything was not a lie. So of course I would enforce <laughs> that. That was what it was. Alex said, I like mustard on everything, and said that that, that, that phrase was not a lie, and Chaz was like, okay. 
the 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 pettiness level. Chaz is really into like semantics. Chaz plays magic. I know. <laughs> Chaz plays magic. Like you, semantics. Yeah, it's terminology is important. If you if you say something, Chaz is gonna be like, "You sure about that? You sure about that?" So even to this day, it's been years now since all of this happened. Even to this day, when any if we ever talk about mustard, um, Alex is always like, ah, that's my favorite thing. They didn't have mustard the other day, I feel no! like. No! Yeah. No, they didn't. <laughs> I was over there, and I had a pretzel, and I was like, do you, have, do you have yellow mustard? And Haley's like, oh, I'm sure we have yellow mustard. There wasn't even yellow mustard in the fridge. I was like, we have eight types of mustard in our fridge at home. <laughs> Chess says, if he just said it in conversation, it would be fine. But he made me lose points in the game. That's serious business. It's true. Chess, Chess doesn't want to lose unfairly. Because mm -hmm. that's not fair. <laughs> we played um, the Lord of the Rings set when Chess was here. The Lord of the Rings, Magic the Gathering. Yeah, the Commander. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um that's uh that that vlog isn't out yet, but there's a vlog coming out soon where we open it. Chess sent that a while ago, and it sat around because in my brain I was like, I'll open this with mail, and then I was like, wait, then no, I'll, I'm not. I'm gonna open it on its own. Mm -hmm. So I finally did a vlog for it, and uh, we got to we got to play. Is it out? Oh, it's out. Oh, yeah. never mind. I don't know what's out. I haven't been. I the have vlog from when we played is not out. I, well, I forgot the one that where I opened it is, yeah. was out. I have been very much not um, in the, like I haven't returned to work. Mm -hmm. I have, yeah, but like not mentally fully. I'm still I'm still kind of yeah getting out of the extra life pit. Like doing Starfield yesterday was a big step forward of like all right you know that was that was a big thing and now it's time to return to what we were doing um and today's a pretty full day because mm -hmm. we're, we're doing uh you know three streams today and i do have a vlog that's coming out at 10. i have a vlog scheduled for 10. so i did get a vlog done see i have to go out and run some errands i have an appointment yeah yeah, it's, a, it's a, there's 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 mm -hmm. stuff going on. That's right, Noah. Three streams means no persona. You'll get back to persona. I need you to set up a PS5 again. <laughs> oh yeah, I pulled that. I could give Jepson his uh, GameCube back. I got a box for Jepson too, so. Okay. I need him to take it somewhere for me. And Slick Duke says Patreon video soon. This week. It, it, I generally aim for the second of the month, and like I, not it won't be today. Um, so, this this week I'll just say this week, this week, because uh, it's it's a slightly busy one. But Thomas um, says I've definitely been at work and working, but deep down I'm not here. You're here. You're, you're still, still here, here in Raleigh. You're still here. You're still here. I wish um, I wish Thomas was still here. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that that's one of the biggest things that I hate about Extra Life is that it's a it's it's very much a work oriented event. Yeah, there is not a lot of time to hang out and spend quality time with folks that I haven't seen in a while, um, and that's the part that I wish that I could yeah like fix. Slick Duke says, much like Kahlo, yeah. Yes. Yeah, very similar to Kahlo. Kahlo is way more exhausting. Mm -hmm. Kahlo is a week long. Yeah. Like, like Extra Life feels like a week, right? Because we have to... <laughs> and we're glad for that, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas says, I did have time to get my butt kicked in Dutch Blitz. Um, you know, for Coliseum, like, leading up mm -hmm. to it is a whole thing. Then it's days of like prep while you're there. Three days, God, the reuse is four days. So like you have all this. So like it's it's a 
lot of, yeah. of, of, of I mean, chunk of time. One thing with Kahlo is we are not doing all the tech. Yes. We're just there to raise money. Yes. Extra life, we do all of it. Yes. And I mean, like, there's parts that each person does. Like, you do a lot of the setup. Chaz does all of the tech. But, like, well, there's not really... At the end of at the end of the day, like I am the tech guy. Like yeah. the the stream would it doesn't get set up. Yeah. If I don't do it, like yeah. the hardware and the software side and like all the, the HDMI cables. Yeah, like that's that is on me. I've said it before, but I will tell you straight up: the day before Extra Life, the Extra Life test stream day, is the worst day of the year. Every year. It's just the worst day of the year. It there is more stress and anxiety on that day than any other day of the year and it's particularly bad after we've moved and we're in a place that we haven't been before because it's an untested setup that is rough that is just rough because we haven't lived here for an extra life yeah so i'm trying to figure out like Okay, how's the living room going to be laid out? How's all the do stuff? Do I have gonna... all the cables? Do Are I have they all the long cables? I, had to, I, I diagrammed everything out and was like, you know what? I need to order some stuff. So I had ordered some stuff. Some stuff didn't arrive. Yeah. That pissed me off. <laughs> it's fine. Is it still we managed. Like shipping soon? I don't know where it is. I'm going to like. If, if I would have caught it before it shipped, I would have canceled it. Yeah. But at this point, I don't know. It's fine. We did it. We did We did the event. We did the event. Um, but yeah, the day, the day before Extra Life is like the most stressful day of the year by no mm -hmm. small margin. And then Extra Life is like the opposite. Where like there's a little stress involved. But it's mostly just excitement. It's like a super fun day. Um, I really enjoy it. It's like the dichotomy of yeah. of things between the two. Anyway, we had 300 bits from Tricky Antia. It says, Cactus update. Little guy is going back to the vet for a cold and a few other things. Can I get, a, can I get good vibes from my wallet? Yes, good yeah. vibes. Good vibes. It is a wonderful thing to own a pet. It can be a horrifying financial experience mm -hmm. as well. <laughs> um, because, you know, as soon as there are like any sort of problems and they have to, you know, they have to be seen or have a test or whatever. Yeah, that's, I, I relate to that in a very big way. As, as someone who has had a cat that has had um, not just one, but several uh, echocardiograms, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, they want to do imaging on his intestines again, too. Yeah. 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 Anyway, a sponsored stream today <laughs> from, from Don't Nod Entertainment. Thank you, Don't Nod. Uh... <laughs> but I, but I, I did. I enjoyed Extra Life immensely. Yes. Um... And all of the stress of the day before is over now. Is is over. Mm -hmm. And since we will be here next year, because our be easier. Cause our our lease is for at least that long, um, you know, I know that we can make it work, and I know that it looked good and it sounded good, and mm -hmm. I I have a record of how it was set up, so I'm good. I'm good. Next year I'll feel a lot better. Yes. Next year I will feel a lot better. What time is stream? If anyone came in late, the I have a, a stream at 1 p.m. Eastern. That's in about three hours from now. So. We'll be playing uh, Jusan. Or Jusant. Uh, which is the latest game from Life is Strange developer Don't Nod. We'll be playing that for like two hours. Yeah. You climb a mountain. Can't wait to climb a mountain. On Tuesday, whenever I saw those alerts come through, 
before Chaz sent them through. Yes. I was watching on the screen, Chaz, as he looked at you and hit the button multiple times. It's just going to live in my heart forever. The look on his face of just <laughs> smug delight. <laughs> yeah. That was 16 out from Shia. says, one for the road. Thanks. Ch Chaz is a little stinker. We know so many little stinkers. So many little stinkers around here. It's fine. Is this daylight savings week? Is that it's this weekend? Yes, I believe it's. Sunday Do we night? get a good or a bad fallback? What does that mean? The bad one. Oh, the bad one. It's fine. It happens over the weekend, right? Yeah. Okay. Saturday night. <laughs> Stinky. It's the good one. You gain an hour. You get an extra hour of sleep. It's the good one. I thought it was the bad one. Hey, imagine... I'd have to think through the math to know. I just... I thought, well, it's like around Labor Day and like... It's fine. You can just be like, I don't remember. Because <laughs> I don't remember most things. Um, cool, it's the good one. I know it's spring forward, fall back. But like, my brain had said like, okay, well, Labor Day's in the fall and like, Labor well, if you is fall, hard, if so you, it's the bad one. That was where my brain If you fall went. back, then that would mean that like 2 p.m. becomes 1 p.m. Yeah. So you gain an hour. So yeah. that's actually the good I didn't think one. through the math. It's fine. I just You are forgiven. No one Labor cares. Day, fall. Yeah, that's what my brain did. Um, yeah, uh, neat. Imagine a world where you don't do anything and the time just stays the same. I wish it did that. We could have that. We could. They were supposed to do it. They. We could have that. That's not... That'd be nice. So you don't have to, like, think about it. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the, the thing that's the most... The biggest pain in the butt is for folks that do not have that, yeah. the time change... Because what happens is like our stream times then change mm -hmm. because it becomes our normal time. And then there's people that are, are you know, outside of the US or whatever. And they're like, they're either early or they're late. And they're like, what? Why did I miss a thing? It's like, ah, the time zones change. Oh, Arizona. It's especially hard when you have pets on yeah. a schedule. Yeah. Right, Keppel? Yeah. Yep. And he says, except for Zelda, 3 a.m. is better than 2 a.m. You have to go back to Zelda, too. Today uh -huh. is... Thursday. Thursday. That's right. Today's Thursday. So we're back to Zelda tomorrow. I'm excited about that. I'm very excited about that. We've had a little time away. Because we didn't do it last week. And we're still kind of... We just got into the depths. That's we right. Did. Oh my god! We were finally, on, we were on like a minecart trail. That's right. And I walked a little bit, and there was a chest that had the That's glow pants. Right. That's right. We just happened to stumble across the glow, yeah. the glow pants. God, I'm very, I'm very, very much looking forward to mm -hmm. doing depth stuff because we've talked about it for weeks, and I only just now got to it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, will we have Heroes Path this week? Probably. I would bet my bite. Remember. <coughs> might remember. Here's a Patreon ticker. It's not updated for November yet. So you have to be a little patient there. But 99% of the names don't change. So it's like, if you think about it that way, it's 99% accurate. That's it, like an A. That's like an A. Mm -hmm. And any patrons who, who joined in October, I will get you added... Um, as quickly as I can. Thank you, folks. I appreciate it. Yeah, 1%, 1% stale. The beans are never really more than 1% stale. They are stale, but never more than like 1%. That's, that's the good news, like, is is once folks have, uh, like, pledged, like, if, yeah. if you stay pledged, like, you, you're you in it. Once I get Once I get you in there, once the beans go into the bean pot, the lid is on the bean pot. You know what I mean? And that's good. We had 62 months from Fossix Dream. Thank you, Fossix. 
in 25 months from Sea of Space. Thank you. Appreciate it. I love Super Mario World Ghost House. You know, it's 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 November now, so like... Yeah. The spooky time is over. Did you see the... The, the, the spooky time. Did you see the video that was posted from Mariah Carey? I don't know if you saw it. There's, no. There was a video posted on Twitter, and there's like a vault. It's like it's this video, and they're they're zooming into this vault, and above it, it says October thirty first, eleven fifty nine, and then it rolls over to midnight, so it's November first, and the vault opens up, and inside is Mariah Carey in a block of ice. And there's all of these like skeletons and jack-o'-lantern people and they all have hair dryers and they're trying to like thaw out Mariah Carey. And then you can you can hear faintly the song begin, like very, very off into the distance, and it starts to get louder, and the block starts to shake, and then it explodes. <laughs> I out of my cage and I've been doing just fine. The, the ice block explodes and then it's just Christmas and there's people in in in, in Thanks, holiday Brenda. outfits <laughs> and it's just, it it's very it's very funny to see her like lean into it so much oh I love that but also <clears throat> she makes bank off of it yeah you know like it I read something at some point that was like I don't remember what I read now. So everything I'm about to say, I'm just making up. But it was something about how like, she makes more from like royalties mm -hmm. off of this song every year than a, it's a lot of money. That's my stat. <laughs> I don't remember what wow. it was. So I'm just like, it's like a lot of money. That's all I, <laughs> I don't have any other information. <laughs> my point is, <laughs> cool. She. My point is, she made this song, mm -hmm. and it became. It's like it's like a new Christmas song. You know what I mean? Like it's that we, she made in the nineties. Yes, uh -huh. but like even though she made it like thirty years ago or whatever, mm -hmm. it's played so much that it's like in the royalties yeah. mm -hmm. from that mm -hmm. she is set forever because she made a Christmas. That's just wild. That's wild. And the thing is, Mariah Carey did so much more than the Christmas song. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But now I cannot think of any of her other songs. And like, someone in my family really liked Mariah Carey. Oh wait, that's not the music app. Don't accidentally play it. I'll I have, won't. I, I'll have to, I'll have to cut the stream immediately. I'm just looking at her top songs. Okay, yeah, she did other stuff. Yeah, she she was a famous mm -hmm. yeah. artist. Yeah, she was like, what's the what? I don't know what's the famous or what's the word for like like a uh, diva. That's it, diva. She was like a she was like a diva. You have like the boy bands and you have like the divas. She was a diva mm -hmm. in the nineties and yeah. probably early two thousands. And like now we just remember. You know, she was before Christmas, Connor. <laughs> did that, did that, did that, did. Anyway, that's all. I think that's all we're legally allowed to to imitate before um, she shows up with papers. So that's all we can do. Uh, okay. Quick reminder of the streams that are going on over, uh, for the next few days. At 1 p.m. Eastern. 1 p.m. Eastern. That's three hours from now. Mm -hmm. I am doing a uh, sponsored stream for Jusin, which is a climbing game. It's a brand new game from uh, the Life is Strange developers, Don't Not. Looking forward to trying that. It's going to be a like two, two-ish hour stream. Play through a good bit of it. Uh, we'll probably have alerts off for the first... 20 minutes, so we can release that on Steven Plays as the first 20, and then we'll change the layout and have alerts on, and it'll just be basically a normal stream while I while I climb mountain. So, uh, there's already reviews coming out for this game, by the way. Yeah. And they are very high. Very high. I bet you're excited. I'm excited mm -hmm. because I, like, I looked at it whenever they sent me the information, like, before there were reviews or anything, and I was like, that looks good. 
So for, I feel like I called it correctly, you know what I mean? Whenever other reviews are coming out, there was a, one of the reviews was like, this is a modern masterpiece. And I was like, that's like high praise, man. So I, I felt good about that. So that's happening at 1 p.m. Um, at seven. And then at 7 p.m., uh, Mao is doing beef stew. Beef stew. Beef stew. Instant pot. Yes. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to the stream. You're mostly looking I'm forward to eating it. I'm excited to mm -hmm. eat it. Yeah, I know. I'm excited to eat beef stew. I know. I love beef stew. Big fan of beef stew. <laughs> beef master stew. Uh, oh, sorry. I just realized I need to add something to my grocery list. Keep talking. Okay. And then Friday. And then, uh, of course, Friday at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern we will be back in Hyrule doing Depths. Depths We'll be stream. under Hyrule. We'll be under it. Yeah. We'll do the whole, we probably won't do the whole stream in the Depths, but we might. You don't know. We don't we know. We don't know. Find out. Come, come explore. Come watch us find a ghost. Pose? Yeah, that's a ghost. Cave activity stream. Um, and that's it. That's that's the only things I, I think I have to announce. Mm -hmm. I think that's all we got. Yep. Yeah. Next week, we will be back to Pikmin on Tuesday. Um, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's the plan. Pretty sure. Mm -hmm. uh, and with that, the vlog is out. There's a new vlog out. It's uh, called Killed by the Homesickness. And it's good. It's really good. It's out. You can go watch it now. So we're doing a vlog raid. Make sure you, you click the link that Fossix has got pinned. Because that's where I'm sending you. Go over there and watch that. <laughs> we had 300 bits from Shia. says, one might call it low rule. There's low rule, hot... Low rule, high rule, and sky rule. 1600 bits from gold lighting. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> also, Haley said she wanted a new holiday. We just celebrated one. We did. We just whacked an alligator in the head. Yep. And we, and we, you, you're the one that found it. Mal found a cute alligator plushie for Leica. Leica. Mm -hmm. It's in the vlog. Check it out. Now got that for Leica for... So Leica also celebrated the holiday. All right, folks, that's it. We are out. Go watch the vlog. Have a wonderful Tuesday... Th Thursday. Thursday. Th God, what's... In Thursday, if I don't see you. But I do hope to see you in a few hours for uh, Jusant, as well as... My stream at 7. Yes. See you there. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.